Hey, today I'm going to go over placing photos or images in InDesign documents. I've already went over placing and formatting text in the other video tutorial, so if you want to check that out first, um, just flowed some text into columns, pretty basic um, considerations there. Uh, once you have a file open, if you don't have text, that's fine, but um, go ahead and place some from a Word document or type some in and you can get fill text or you know any anything you've got like a report for example uh, once you have that in there go ahead and go file new document if you don't have it open and hit OK for letter size and put the text in there but uh, once you have it in there go to file place and then choose an image um, in Windows it just has it like this if you want to preview what they look at like obviously right click view and then maybe like medium icons and I just have some images from Alice in Wonderland uh, but since I have the public domain text over there these are some public domain images I'll unselect replace selected item hit open and then just like when I'm placing text the cursor turns into kind of this blinking uh, beginning of the text this actually turns into a small little preview of the image I'm just gonna click and let go and then it places the text and this one's actually a little bit blurry at full size but um, I'll show you how to fix that so I can move it around with the black arrow which is the selection tool okay and let me just delete this and show you another way to place it go to file place same image open now if I click and drag then it places that specific size the only thing is you don't know if it's the right proportion so I like to just go to file place click once and let go you have it at full size you can make it smaller but you don't want to make it larger because then it will pixelate because it is a raster you know image uh, what you can do if you, I click and drag the side there it actually crops out part of the photo you notice that okay so you don't want to just click and drag a corner if you want to resize it what you have to do is hold control or on the Mac command and click and drag a corner and then it actually resizes it and you notice though I can squish this and distort it so to maintain that correct proportion go ahead and also hold on to shift so you're holding on to control and shift on the PC or command and shift on the Mac and clicking and dragging a corner then be sure to let go of the mouse first before you let go of the two shortcuts now I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller and then we have an image here at the correct size that we wanted at. If you wanted it over two columns we could just make it a little bit smaller. Okay. Now the thing is we have this but it's on top of the text. Okay. Now you can arrange things. You can go to object, arrange, send it back but then the text would just be on top of it. What we want to do is have the text flow around it. Now one thing you could do is click each of these text boxes and move it down by clicking and dragging the top handle. But an easier way is just to click the image here, go to Window, Text Wrap, and then you can choose this third selection. The second and third are actually text wrap options, um, probably the most commonly used ones. The other ones um, push the text away a little bit more on the sides and whatnot. But the second and third one, if you just do this third one, you'll notice. it wraps around okay so I'll make sure I have the selection tool the black arrow and moving that around and you'll see that it wraps around it and you can adjust the settings for example up here you can make it a little bit more breathing room there so 0 P 10 I can go all the way all the way to 1 pica 1 P and you'll notice at the bottom now it has some breathing room because earlier when I had it at zero you notice it's really flush in a design element you don't want things flush like that if you're intentionally flushing some things that's one thing but um, usually in publication design whether it's online or print you want at least one pica in between elements like that so just do one pica and then you have a little bit of breathing room and you'll notice as I move this around the text flows around it. Okay. 
so you'll see that it automatically flows around it so that's nice now there's a couple other settings on there you can um, just do the bounding box instead of the clipping frame so that would be just the little edge there of the actual box it would flow around instead of the clipping frame um, usually the clipping one I mean that one's works here you notice it adds that little the little curved line around the edges so you can experiment with those different settings and see what they do um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, move over this to the side now what if you wanted a caption for this okay if I click the text tool there click and drag and then type in you know let's say a cat from Alice in Wonderland you know whatever usually captions are full senses but this I'm just gonna have a short little description problem is if you'll notice as I put it right next to the photo or the image it pushes that text down because it has a text wrap on it okay so what you need to do is click this image get rid of the text wrap by pressing this first uh, option here no text wrap top left hand corner of the text wrap palette pull the caption up to how you how close you want it okay and then and I'm, again I'm pressing control plus on the Mac command plus to zoom in control minus command minus to zoom out and then the space bar to click and drag around so let's say I like uh, you know that spacing right there click and drag so you select both of them then go to object group then add the text wrap now you have a text wrap applied to both of those as a group you'll notice let's go over here then it has a nice little text wrap around the entire image as well as the caption so that's how you add a caption to an image and have text flow around both of them you have to group it first one other thing to consider when you go to file place oh, let's choose a different one how about the rabbit and I place it in and then control I can do control shift or command shift on the Mac and click the edge there if you'll notice though when I go right in the center and this is a new thing in CS5 if I go right in the center it turns into a hand what that does is moves around the image within that bounding box okay so it doesn't actually move the image so be careful if you're trying to move this image around and you click it right in the middle you'll just move it so it almost crops it out there okay same thing if you have the direct selection tool the white arrow um, if you click anywhere that's what it's going to do but with the black arrow the selection tool generally you just move things around with that it's just in, if you're right in the center you're actually going to move it around within that bounding box so be careful about that Okay. So that's the basics of placing and placing images and flowing text around them. Um, next time we'll actually go over some pull quotes and adding some titles. Thank you.